With much of our summer below normal with temperatures, it seems like we're trying to make up for lost time all in a very short period of time, right at the end of summer. Normal high for the week ahead is 78. The entire next five days will be above normal. From 81 tomorrow, much more humid. By Tuesday and Wednesday, we're talking mid-80s, still lots of humidity around. And then finally getting back closer to normal by the end of the week. But there can be some good rain chances tomorrow and Labor Day Monday. Why? There's a south wind, and that will bring in some fog from the ocean and from the sound tonight. But let me pull the perspective out. You'll understand why. Frontal system from Detroit all the way down to the Gulf Coast. And look at this tropical pipeline bringing in moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. That will siphon north, and that is why we must discuss more humidity starting tonight and into tomorrow. Labor Day as well, very uncomfortable. Highs in the 80s, high levels of humidity. That will mean the best rain opportunities, thus Sunday and Monday. Let's go hour by hour with the forecast. After some fog tonight and first thing tomorrow morning, here we are by 2 o'clock. Some hazy breaks of sun, but notice the bands of showers and thunderstorms back to the west. They'll arrive in from north to south and then clear the state by, say, tomorrow night. So it can scatter shower downpour anywhere after about 3 or 4 o'clock and right through about tomorrow night. It'll be dry again first thing Monday morning. Patchy fog, you guessed it, very muggy. And then here's the afternoon forecast, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Timing this around 6, 7 o'clock on Monday evening. Just figure any afternoon we can have downpours Sunday or Monday. And I think they're equal opportunities of getting poured on. So it's not all day rainouts. Drier earlier in the day, better chance of rain late in the day. Though it's still muggy, Tuesday and Wednesday will opt for a drier forecast. Anything but warm now. Here are your Litchfield County temperatures. Colebrook at 67, Norfolk as well at 68, Plymouth, Barkhamstead and Cornwall, and it's 70 in Woodbury. The rest of the state follows suit very similarly. 69, Groton, Mystic, New London, 70 in Chester, 74 in right now New Haven, and also towards West Haven, Milford, Stratford at 74, Bridgeport as well. 63 tonight inland, 67 on the shoreline. Fog will roll in from that south wind at around 5 miles per hour, thus it turns muggier, and we won't drop the temperatures from where they are now, upper 60s to low 70s, down into the mid 60s. They won't drop a whole lot. Fog is stubborn to burn away in the morning. A couple of hazy breaks of sun, low 80s, feels like the upper 80s with the very high levels of humidity. Southwest wind will promote that increase in humidity and thus a couple of afternoon storms. Some could be on the gusty side. Similar story for Monday again. These are not pristine, gorgeous days. Temperatures though by the middle to end of the week, they're pretty warm. They're mid 80s on the shoreline, upper 80s inland, and then by next weekend, we start to see some drier air come on in with a cold front on Saturday. And thus, next weekend, we turn drier. Aaron?